is it possible that we can have cavitation solutions for free yes that is possible you remember in the last video we had learned that cavitation solutions can be divided into two basic subcategories which is the process parameters and the valve modification process parameters can be simply said any change that is done outside the valve to prevent cavitation valve modifications is what you do inside the valve the best thing about process parameters is it takes brains but it could be low cost or even free however for valve modifications you need to put some additional cost so let us look at the process parameters part of it so for process parameters they can be divided into five solutions but you can remember this with a very simple acronym which is error E R R O R. The first E here stands for elevate the pressure P1 and P2. I would be very happy to explain this, but before that, I would want your fundamentals to be very, very clear. If it's possible, just it will take five seconds to just recap of what is the pressure drop curve and the cavitation curve, and then we look at this. So imagine this is your valve put in a line. Now with the flow, there is some restriction put, so you're going to have a DP or a differential pressure created to it. So the upstream pressure is P1 and the downstream pressure is P2. Now imagine that this is your vapor pressure curve. So what happens when the fluid is going to be at this particular uh, region? The fluid is going to change from liquid state to vapor state. And this stage is called as the point where the liquid changes to vapor phase. Now at the exact opposite side, if you notice, the, va the vapor is going to turn back into liquid state. Here, what is going to happen is the, the bubbles are going to burst to come back to liquid state which is called as popping which has very high velocities that can damage the valve and the piping downstream this entire phenomenon is called as cavitation now let us look at the elevate the pressure solution so here's your control valve and now we've learned about the pressure drop curve so here's your vapor pressure it's very clear that cavitation is going to happen here right because the pressure drop is going beyond which is 50 psig and the vapor pressure is 55 psig now what do we do is can we try to move this entire solution near to the pump and see what happens so when i move near to the pump i'll have the same pressure drop curve but the P1 is now elevated by 10 PSIG. So my P1 is 110 PSIG. I have the same drop of 50 PSIG. So I'll get here 60 because 110 minus 50 is 60 PSIG. And the amazing thing is look at the vapor pressure curve. It was 55, right? So it is going above. So already we have saved cavitation without adding anything, just moving the control valve, which anyways we have to install. Isn't it amazing? Now, if you compare both the areas, you would see that even though the pressure drop is same, the cavitation is not happening in the second case while it's happening in the first case. Now, let us look at the second amazing solution to it. As we said, the acronym was error. The second one is stands for R, right? So R stands for reduce the downstream pressure P2. So imagine you have two valves with having the same pressure drop curve. So both of them, what you do is you just change the downstream pressure. The P1 remains the same. What happens here is when we have both of them have the same vapor pressure curve and the same pressure drop happening to them, but the downstream pressure here is significantly reduced. But why do we do that? Let us look at that. Engineers have realized that here at this portion, when the liquid or the fluid is changing into its liquid state, the bubbles are going to burst, which is the most harmful thing to the valve. So engineers thought, can we just avoid this one thing? So can I just avoid this damage? Yes, that is possible. And that is what we do here. At this stage, we don't allow it to come to its liquid state. So the bubbles won't burst. And this will significantly reduce the damage to the valve this phenomenon is called as flashing yes it has effects on the trim but it is far significantly lesser as compared to cavitation and eventually down the line it will cavitate so you have to keep the piping there very strong so you can make thicker piping but the trim can be saved which is of a higher cost and higher criticality now let us look at the third amazing solution to it what is that with our acronym let's go the third one again stands as r so r is reducing the temperature of the fluid yes in this what we do is imagine here's your pressure drop now instead of always playing with the pressure p1 p2 why not we play with vapor pressure so what if we cool the vapor pressure but is that possible no but we can cool the fluid right so if we cool the fluid the vapor pressure is again going to change and you're going to have a vapor pressure now here because the liquid is cooled enough so at this point of time what happens is you will not have any cavitation happening to it is this possible some solutions are you can you know remove the insulation which is kept 
uh, to have the valve to be kept warm sometimes it's not that required you can ask with the process department or move the valve to a colder region during the process if that is process oriented feasibility is present otherwise you won't be able to do that the next final thing is for process parameters as we said e r r o r now we have is o which stands for outside gas injection this is a very simple method where basically you have a valve and a pressure drop happening and you have the bubbles which are bursting which is the troublesome thing so you try to put some inert gas into it so basically that does a cushion effect and tries to reduce this effect overall but this is rarely used by the industry it is mentioned in all the books like bella liptak etc but it is rarely a practical solution in the industrial world now we look at the final one which is my mo most personal example which is r that r stands for recheck the process input what happened with me was even though it might be a funny thing but i was working at all the calculations and i was not able to find a proper solution to cavitation and i understood what could be the reason so i went to the process department to ask and i realized that basically the temperature had to be in degree fahrenheit but by mistake it was mentioned in degree celsius so if you're not able to find solutions to cavitation just check the input document from process is correct all the process parameters the pressure drop temperature etc maybe that could solve your problem so i hope you found the video valuable in conclusion i can say is the parameters can be divided into this five basic categories and if you want to look at the second one which is the valve parameters how to avoid cavitation that is also available in part one and that will be shown here now we'll go to elevate the pressure which stands for e r stands for reduce the downstream pressure r stands for reducing the temperature of fluid outside gas injection and finally rechecking the process data i hope you've liked this video next saturday we'll meet again with another new amazing video thank you and have a great day ahead happy learning